That's all I'm saying. It could be therapy. It could be something else. So but I said, I said, I said, I said, we need each other. We need. Yes. It has to be a group. Right. It has to be a group thing. Do you realize all those kids that I taught the power? So when the power of even someone being abandoned, all those kids, every single kid that I taught in that school when they went to the next year, all of them went to level five uh, 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 youth uh, uh, facility where it's level five. Do you realize that they got so what much foundation in? In, in North Carolina? I just, I just, I uh, just uh, uh, text you. Uh, I mean, I uh, DM'd you. I want, I want to come down there and fuck with you because I, 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 what you're I, I, saying. I just don't want y'all to just totally shit on therapy. So I'm no, all we're not, but we're not. What you let, go, Miss let, let go. The language, language. Oh, sorry about that. I just don't want y'all to just totally just throw th throw therapy out. I'm I'm on board with you. I just sent you a DM and everything. I want to come down there because I ain't that far from North Carolina. So the difference, Mister Let Go. Um, you uh, you could use the word therapy, but when people hear therapy, they think of therapists and they think of, you know, you got to go to a place and sit down and all they're doing is listening to your thoughts and then they're going to figure out how to help you with your thoughts. That's different. What Ali did with Bruiser is the type of therapy that we need. But we just want to throw away the therapy word out, therapist. We're looking for more like a mentorship, not like you got to go to a place like a doctor and then get, you know, pills or whatever. That's like different. And when people think of therapists, that's what they're thinking about. But getting like some type of <clears throat> mentorship from another man, like let's say for Bruiser is, is different. So I don't, I don't know. I see like there's a difference of what you're saying and what he's saying. So just throw the therapist out and get more of like leadership, you know, get someone that has a quite a bit of experience. Cause some of those therapists don't have that type of experience to help someone Somebody, that's all is what I'm saying. All I'm saying is don't throw the therapist out. You don't have to use it, just don't totally throw it out. That's all I I'm agree saying. with Mr. Lego. I, know, I yeah. think therapy is therapists are needed, and you do your research on the therapist, and not all therapists is for everybody. That's all I'm saying. I agree. I yeah, agree but nobody's refuting I, anything I, that I'm Aaron sorry. said. Nobody no one's refuting it. We just that's keep you just keep saying it over and over right. again. Ali, I agree with what you said, and I commend you on what you did. It's, it sounds very admirable for what you did for those yeah, kids. I you agree. know, were they all boys or were they boys and girls? Yeah, there, there were boys and girls, but I got to a point where I'd even tap myself on the back because they still had to go back to their homes. And it's, a lot of people would come in these facilities and pat themselves on the back for things that they got from what the kids, what, what they did for the kids, instead of acknowledging like what's really happening to these kids. Right, right. You, you know? go back or, home and get or deep, deeper than that, what's happening to their their families, what's really going on with people. We're not addressing any of those issues. You, All of us need a foundation that never moves. Mm -hmm. it has, you have to see these kids through for the rest of their life. All of us do. Exactly. We, have to, we have to re implement a brotherhood and sisterhood and, and a village like mentality, like everybody else. But everybody, when we come well, on, hold on, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I have a problem with this because this is not a kumbaya situation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Simply because you can't really take into consideration what he says when he specifically highlighted how bad therapy is for us right. and then say we need therapy, but I agree with what you said. It doesn't make sense. I have a different opinion on that. That's I all I'm too. saying. I do too. When I just have a different opinion on that. If, wait, wait, wait. If you have a different of opinion, then you can't sit here and say that you agree with what it is that he says. No, I actually can. I see two sides of every Look, I say, I say what he said. And that means makes that y'all didn't listen to entirely. Y'all wasn't paying attention. I heard everyone he said. He said that. I heard I mean, everyone he said. I don't agree with one part of what he said That's is all I'm said. saying. Sometimes it wasn't about the talking or sometimes a kid just need to be held. Did black, right. man, did black men come together collectively, strong black men together and decide we need therapy? Or was it another group of people that decided that we needed therapy that had, had, had to make money? Who, does, who do you think decided that? We can move on, man. I'm just asking. No, 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 Mr. Lego, don't move on. That move. Let's can answer that move question. On. I don't well, know who did it. Everybody's in agreement, so we could just move on. I will say this, Ali. I don't know who come up with it. Most likely it was the Caucasians. I don't know, but I know it helped me and my family. So that's all I'm saying. It helped me and my family. All right. And it has helped me in my past. So chaotic. We got to move on. What's going on, chaotic? Got to move What's on. What's going on? Um, uh, can, uh, do you guys um, mind if I? No, we got to move on from this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How deep of a friendship do you need with your husband before marriage? How deep of a friendship do you need 
with your husband before marriage. I do have a clip to play with this. Um, I do want to get to Precious and Balance and Lady Die and Bruiser. Um, I'll get to you, Chaotic, in a second, but I just uh, maybe just dropped in, but they've been waiting patiently. I am not looking to just have flings, just meet anyone. Yes. I don't want to share my energy just for no reason, right? 100%. So I'm looking for somebody that will be my husband. And I say, actually, do you know what? I want my husband to be my best friend first. I want my husband to be somebody that has been so close to me that I didn't even notice that I've been my full self with. But he knows everything that is good about me, everything that is bad about me. There's no secret. And that he loves me that way for who I am. So when you then put the romance and obviously put sexuality in the, into the equation, it doesn't make things as difficult in terms of getting to know each other through that. I hear that. Can you not... So what, are you saying that you would want him to be one of your close friends first and then? Yeah, I would want us to be like this and then. You know when sometimes... Well, obviously... But it's like this best friends or is this like... Because there's a difference between Mm -hmm. dating and getting to know someone and building that companionship and then being like, oh, we're going to start off as best friends and then maybe we can see what happens in the future. Is that a fairy tale? I think it's a fairy tale. I don't think that happens because I think honestly, <laughs> I think, and this is what I've had female friends tell me mm-hmm. when they see a guy, they're like, they know whether they would go there with him or not. And then it's all about making sure that he's just a decent guy. Yeah. Right. Making sure that he's not a creep, that he's level headed, whatever. But girls would go, I would fuck him. Yeah. And I think that I think, and the reason I'm saying this is because we have so much access. If there's a guy who you think, I'm undecided. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be friends with him first, right? Because there's so many other people, in that time you're being friends and that you're maybe building that best friendship and closeness, you could easily meet another guy. They're like, I just have this draw to him, that, mm-hmm. this physical draw to him, and he's a great guy, and you naturally choose him. Because mm-hmm. I'll be honest, I always, I, mm-hmm. if a guy is friends with a girl, because there's a hope of it becoming something more. I always say you have to leave that friendship. I'll be honest. Oh yeah, and yeah, and no, I believe it. And it's not good for him, and I don't think it's good for, for her long term. All right, how deep of a friendship do you need with your husband before marriage? Uh, go ahead, real precious. Um, how deep of a friendship do you need? I I believe I've always said that. Um, you know you should see someone in a seasonal um, view, meaning that they may be one way the first quarter and the second quarter, they're a different way. Um, As far as how deep you should, how deep you should be as far as friendship, you should know things about this man before you marry him. There are, there are core foundational things that you do need to know about him. Once those core foundational things are set, and I don't think it takes that long to to know those things, but once you know those things, then I don't think that marriage would be hard. 